Today, we're going to be doing bearings with me, Mr. Bar, raising the bar. So what I did there was I was just trying to rotate by an angle, but it wasn't helpful. It didn't do anything. It wasn't useful. Now, if I've lost my bearings, which you probably think I have, I've lost my direction. I've lost my sense of direction. So bearings are all about direction. And I could tell you now to turn 37 degrees. Do it. Turn 37 degrees to your left. Turn 37 degrees to your left. Well, which way are you facing? You don't know, because all of you who are watching this, or like two of you, are facing very different directions. Bearings means that we all start from the same point. We always start from north. Bearings always start from north. Now, I might tell you to turn 90 degrees from north. Great, but which way? Which way is 90, right? So we always go clockwise. Now, bearings are generally used in kind of transport and radio communication. There's lots of things going on. So we need to simplify it a little bit, because if I told you to turn 30 degrees, say, from north, that might be heard over the radio incorrectly. So we tend to do bearings as three digits. Zero, three, zero would be 30 degrees. If I was to turn 150 degrees, that would be a bearing of 150. So bearings are always from north, always measured clockwise, and always with three digits. Let me know if you want anything else in the comments. Bye-bye.